Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today, I wanna to show you guys how to file your crypto taxes on Tax Act. So the first most important part of this video is actually watching another video, which I will leave in the top right corner and the description, basically showing you how Coinly calculates um, your taxes and then it prints out a form, uh, which you will need for this video. Okay, I'm gonna assume that you have done that. If not, take your time, go watch that video. Um, you will need to file two different documents. So first you will file a form called the 8949, AKA the sales and other dispositions of capital assets. And then you will file a schedule D, which is a 1040, AKA capital gains and losses with your annual tax return to reflect your crypto transactions. So on Tax Act, I'm gonna assume you have all your information, you know, your basic info done. Um, on the page, I've already started actually the capital gains one, but the other one you're also gonna be interested in is other income, but we'll jump to that later. So find the capital gains and losses and edit that one first. Okay, so this is the page you're looking for, capital gains and losses, and the form we want is here, add form uh, 8949. We're gonna click attach. Um, attach a statement of transactions instead of entering them manually. Yes, we want to do that. Continue. Name of brokerage. We're going to put Coinly. And here is where we attach that form. So that form is found on Coinly. If you go to your tax report section, you can find it right here. Form 8949. Download it and import it. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so here is what this form looks like. Um, your main sections are right here. Obviously, this is a demo, so the numbers are just kind of random. Um, but yeah, back on to Tax Act, we're gonna go to add the form, and then we're gonna select a different category here. So for um, short-term transactions, you wanna select category C. For long-term gains, you wanna select category F. So for demo purposes, I will select the short term category and click continue. And here is where you will fill out the necessary information. Proceeds go here, uh, cost and other basis go here. And then the total adjustment amount is this gain or loss section that goes here. And once you have that complete, you will click continue and it will give you a summary of the information you just put in. And then you click continue one more time and there you have it that's it okay so that was the first part it might give you a few more little summary pages here just you know skip those unless you have something that you want to review and then the second part of this process is scrolling all the way down going into other income clicking review and here is where we want to add the schedule one aka form 1040 so we click that and then it's going to ask us a bunch of questions if these apply to you make sure to put in that information for me personally none of these are actually going to be i'm going to put any values for these so i'm just going to click no uh, gambling winnings i wish no 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 and here is where we get to the last part which is what we're interested in so this is where you can put your other income so this actually can be found here um in coinly and it's also on this document uh the schedule d so it's a massive document actually depending on how many transactions you have uh, it could be 10 plus pages so this is the capital gains and losses schedule d form 1040 you also have the form 8949 so a small explanation form 8949 and schedule d are separate forms however schedule d is a summary of the 89 Four, nine. Then you just click yes, and here you describe your other income. You could say, I don't know, crypto income, and then the value was $27, and I believe, I don't know, 73 cents. I don't know if it even goes to decimal places. No, it doesn't. It just rounds up. So you put that. If you have any other of these categories, which, um, you know, charitable, contribution, hobby income, you can add that, but that is pretty much it now you have both of your incomes here your capital gains and losses uh, and your other income um, shown here so you have both of those done and that's pretty much it um, you can now do the rest of your taxes and you've completed the two most important parts of filing your crypto income on TurboTax with the help of Coinly. if you have any questions leave them down below 
we'll try to we'll try our best to answer them if you enjoyed the video if you found it helpful consider dropping a like subscribing for more and i'll see you next time peace